as Spain is poised to seize control of the Catalan government and stop the region's bid for independence, an initiative is underway to emulate Estonia's innovative residency program. Technology advocates in Catalonia, which is reputed to be ahead of the rest of Spain in areas like fintech, are also reportedly touting the possibility of a national cryptocurrency or digital token, something Estonia has also been considering. In an article in Spain's main daily newspaper El Pais, reports that digital transformation experts working for the government of Catalonia, the Generalitat de Catalunya, have visited Estonia several times to gather tips on how to implement a residency program. Dani Marco, director of Smart Catalonia, who appears to be heading up the initiative, pointed out that the Estonians started from scratch, with all the possibilities they were offered to build a model of economic development. The article goes on to name Czech Vitalik Buterin, inventor of the next-generation public blockchain Ethereum, who was attending a technology conference in Barcelona. The takeaway was that Catalonia could follow Estonia's proposal to issue some flavor of national blockchain tokens, a decentralized store of value in other words. Most of the time you hear about banks stating that cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin are only good for criminals, or that they are too slow or volatile to be of any real use. However, issuing digital currency without the need for a central bank is undoubtedly a bona fide use case. Moreover, the mere mention of Estonia in this context is somewhat incendiary. The digitally advanced Baltic nation recently proposed issuing a national cryptocurrency, the so-called Estcoin. This would make it the first nation to carry out an initial coin offering ICO, a new way of funding technology projects by issuing tokens on a blockchain. A blog post on the subject garnered so much interest and media attention that in the end the European Central Bank chief Mario Draghi publicly slapped down the proposal. No member state can introduce its own currency. The currency of the eurozone is the euro, he said. The other thing that Estonia has perfected across its 1.3 million residents is a secure and tamper-resistant e-voting system. The man behind Estonia's audacious ICO and Estcoin idea is Kaspar Korgis, managing director of a residency, Republic of Estonia. Speaking at a recent GovChain blockchain event in London, Korgis said he envisaged the Estcoins as a new wide cryptocurrency, or as a crypto token. The latter would be a kind of digital commodity used to insensitivize people to take part in networks, digitally sign things, and also create investment in Estonia. The idea reached 200 million people many of them quite angry people, including at the Bank of Estonia, said Korgis. But if startups can raise funds, why not governments? The notion of challenging a sovereign entity by way of issuing cryptocurrency speaks to the hardcore libertarian roots of Bitcoin, the main, censorship-resistant cryptocurrency. It's not a coincidence that Bitcoin was released in the wake of the banking crisis a message stating that politicians discuss second bank bailout is permanently inscribed into the genesis block of the Bitcoin blockchain for posterity. And taking on governments with cryptocurrency is not so far-fetched. It was not widely reported, but during the years of punishing austerity that followed the banking bailouts, Greece considered a desperate measure called Plan B, which essentially involved switching from the euro to Bitcoin. Eva Kylie Mep, an advocate of fintech innovation who was a politician in Greece at the time of the crisis, recounts that the plan was taken seriously. We talked about leaving the eurozone, finding another currency, said Kylie. There was even a plan B, which involved essentially hacking into everyone's accounts and replacing all their money with Bitcoin. Plan B was quite well drafted. Move all accounts into to Bitcoin, establish Bitcoin at TMs, it's scary, and of course it goes against the ethos of Bitcoin and being in control of your own assets. But look what happened in Cyprus sometimes you're not safe from your own government. 